Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do recapping job on vintage electronics. In this case it's going to be DBX117. It's an axial electrolytic capacitor. So I grab it with the pliers and uh, heat up the joint with the iron. Pull out one end. Then I grab the capacitor by its body. This way it's easier to get it out. On most of the old stuff the leads are bent, so you have to wiggle it a little bit just to get it out. Just like that. That's it. Now we have to clean up the holes. Make them ready for inserting the new capacitor, but before always double check the polarity. Electrolytic capacitors are polarity sensitive. So uh, if it's not marked on the board you can mark it with your marker. I use the desoldering wick here, just a little bit of uh, flux, and now I can suck all the solder out of the holes to make them clean and see through. Just like that. I'm trying to use the minimum heat on my iron because the traces are very sensitive and can be damaged easy. So you have to be careful, but every now and then you damage them anyway, so don't be too upset. I used alcohol to clean the remains of the flux make it nice and shiny and ready for the brand new capacitor which I get from Mauser or DigiKey and they're very good quality now and they can last for up to 15 years from now That's it. That's a new part. About the same size, so it's easy to form the leads. Just bend them approximately, matching the distance between the holes. Again, double check the polarity. Push it in, make it flush with the board, and uh, sometimes I pull them a little bit to the side like this to keep the part in while soldering, and do the soldering job. Again, make sure that it heats up properly and uh, the joint is shiny and nice looking. Trim the leads after that. And we're done. This one is in. Many more to go. Another example I'm going to show you how to... Um, sometimes I cut the leads before desoldering like that. This way I can grab the capacitor by its body and wiggle it out of the board. This is double-sided board, it's a little bit more modern design.
Oops, sometimes you get the wrong joint, but... <laughs> That's it, one is out. That's the second one. Now I have to remove the remains of the leads, which can be done two ways, either pulling it out from this side, from the top side of the board, just like that, or Sometimes if it's, like in this case, we have the trace on the top, sometimes it's even better to push it through to the back side of the PCB. Especially if it's a thick lid, which was bent on the other side. And then just remove it from the other side. Just like that. Again, we have to clean the holes now, and in this case I'm going to be using the ready available hand desoldering pump, which is pretty effective on a board like this. You hit the joint and then use the pump. Sometimes you have to use it a couple of times. But then the holes become clean and you can insert the new part with no problems. That's done, we'll clean up. And the easy part, inserting new capacitors. Double check the polarity again. push them all the way through and they flush with the board and do the soldering after that you have to trim the leads and do the regular cleanup and you're all set If you do it carefully and practice a little bit, you'll be fine to do job like this on your beloved vintage equipment. That's it. Beautiful. Final cleanup and we're all done.